Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Tyler had fun on Yagi. Why do you serve so illegal? Yeah, what the hell? Why do you serve so illegal? My ah, serve is... Touche. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, what the hell is an illegal serve, then? All serves are illegal. I don't know if you've seen that, but I've, I've commented that a couple times on some, some Instagram posts. All serves are illegal. Except for the drop serve. Except, yeah, you want to... Yeah, <laughs> Except the fair. drop serve. All right, Willie, you're commissioner. You've got you're charged with coming up with a serve rule. Like, what's the deal? You had your hot take a couple of weeks ago on the serve that you posted. Is the serve rule broken? If so, what do we do to fix it? If not, well, why? Do, how do we get people to stop complaining? I think it's very difficult to enforce right now, just because there are a couple like really fine details. Uh, your idea that you kind of gave me was the the drop serve, and I think the drop serve is a great idea because. The ball can only bounce so high. I mean, you, if you, unless you throw it down with like force, you should literally just have to like drop it. Um, and that's the only thing that I would say you have to enforce. Like you can hit any sort of spin or pace or anything. So just having a drop serve where you're able to, you're not allowed to like forcefully push it down, I think would be the best solution. Mm -hmm. Boring. Boring. Don. <laughs> I came what up with think? a new one. I was talking to. I came up with a new one. First off, you know, the data does not suggest that we have a serve problem. Um, so if we want to ignore that and come up with a solution for the non-existent problem, we can. A serve problem in terms of the weaponization. Yes, we clearly have an enforcement problem. Mm -hmm. You were challenged, what, four or five times on but your But I serves? didn't really feel like I was getting free points off of my serve a ton of the time. Because That's you weren't. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't. But I still kept getting challenged for some reason. Yeah, I mean, you're hitting the serve hard. And honestly, I think that people challenge your serve because you have a very high take back and you toss the ball from high, but your toss does drop substantially. So the way that you set up and the way that you toss and the way that you swing, like all of the pre-serve stuff looks mm -hmm. bad, but when you actually like slow it down and show the contact point and the swing trajectory, like you're obviously like right there super yeah. close to illegal I pretty much know. every time well, literally the one clip that i was just watching it was pretty high well yeah you at major league pickleball you don't have the contact height requirement anymore right. yeah so you can hit it you could hit it face height if you wanted to mm -hmm. to yeah. make a point as long as it's the upward motion and then the paddle is below the wrist right mm -hmm. so you were really chucking it up there too at the end of the, as we like progress through New York. You were you were just like throwing yeah, like it up you there. Can get, you can get underneath it a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I haven't been making contact as high as like you, Deckel, and some of those guys. But um, yeah, Will, welcome to the to the list of controversial servers. Um, <laughs> Thanks. I think it's it's me, Deckel, you, Tyson. Anybody else? Hmm. Eric Onsens. Anybody... Eric Onsens. Eric I'm going to throw him in there. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. Welcome. It's Thank fun you. over here. Have, it is. Have fun uh, trolling the, the Pickleball Forum comments. Um, but we do, as a result of you, um, have some updated rules for MLP Virginia Beach. Uh, MLP set out some, some new rules. It's nothing too crazy, just some more administrative stuff but essentially the main changes are that teams can no longer challenge opponents serves um a player's paddle head must be clearly below the wrist at the moment the paddle strikes the ball that's the same here's something that is interesting and is going to be hard again to determine the server's upward arm motion must be clear and discernible to the referee that's Which so leads... at discretion and so discretionary. Yeah. So I don't exactly know what that means, but you just have to make it look like you're – just follow through a little bit higher, Willie. Then you'll be good. All right. Um, Does that mean that, um, that like, if I would be called or any player is called by the ref, you can't challenge it yourself either, or is it just the opposing team that can't challenge it? The language is unclear. It says teams cannot challenge a player's serve, which means I think that the the way that I read that is the opponent's team can't challenge your serve. However, I believe you are – I don't think there's anything that says you cannot 
What do you? What, oh yeah, it's an it interesting does say. question. What do you? What are you cooking up? You gonna serve one into the net and then just like challenge it and get a reserve? Well, like if Probably the ref, like if the ref called me um, for like a serve, but I thought my serve was legal. Can I, as the team that was mm. called, challenge mm -hmm. like the ref's call? Or no. is it just Service like the, whatever the ref says goes? Well, what would be the point anyway? Because you just get a reserve. So yeah. either you only way, get a reserve you... one time, though. Okay. So. Service faults are at the referee's discretions and will not be challengeable by teams, is what it says in a different part of this rule. So there's going to be no challenges, which I'm actually okay with, but there's a couple referees we got to get rid of first. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's a referee issue. I like this. Let's go down this rabbit hole. I mean, but it's, I think fired. it's tough Agents because then it's. It's at the discretion of the ref. Yeah. Yeah, it's just got to make it clearly upwards, I suppose, yeah. whatever that means. Mm -hmm. Well, Willie, what were your overall thoughts on, on MLP this weekend? You played awesome, dude. You were, like, right up there at the top of the standings with uh, pretty far behind Anna Lee. Let's be, let's be real here. <laughs> but <laughs> the rest of the entire field was. But, dude, you've, uh, you picked up your game. You played awesome. You were, what, like... Uh, seven and three, eight and two, something like that. Uh, so I ended, I ended the week actually, actually nine and one. It was, uh, yeah, it was an awesome week, but credit to, uh, you guys. I mean, you and Ali, Mari, you're always there Thanks. to pick me up and support me. You guys are, you guys are an awesome, awesome, uh, crew to have. So I'm lucky to be on this team and have such supportive teammates, especially coming in as someone that's new to MLP. Yeah. So speaking of that, like at the draft back in, uh, March, was playing premier on your radar uh, i was i was hopeful um i had a, i had a few teams that reached out to me so i thought it was definitely possible but i i thought i was more outside looking in than inside looking out um so i was super grateful that you know ryan and the and the crew were willing to take a shot on me and make it happen you want to know what it came down to we had, we had a few different people that we were talking about and literally, it was Ryan. Ryan, it was like me, Mari, and, and Anna Lee were all on the, the phone and we're like, who do we pick? And Ryan goes, obviously, you were, you were, it was between you and a few other people. And Ryan's like, Will just has this look in his eye. <laughs> he's just got the look. I've seen him. He's got the look. I'm like, what the hell does that mean? He's like, he's just got the look. And so we picked you because you got the look. <laughs> do you think I have the look now that you've played with me? Sometimes you've got the look. Sometimes it looks like you're stoned and you're just in outer, outer space. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that look as much. <laughs> but yeah, dude, you've been, you've been playing awesome. Like, obviously, I don't think too many people who uh, aren't super enthusiastic fans of pickleball had really heard of you before this year. And now you're crushing it at the APP, crushing it at Major League Pickleball. Like, take us through a little bit of your, your pickleball journey if you're up for that. Yeah, for sure. So um, I started playing in, in February of 2023. Uh, I had picked up a paddle for like a few days before, like, um, but I lived in Milwaukee until 2023, February of 2023. Um, well, and then when I moved down, right I, I started on, playing. Hold on. hold on. You picked up a paddle for the first time when? February of 2023. So you're under a year playing pickleball. Well, around, around a year. Be over a year, Thomas. This is not a math podcast, okay? This is not a this is not a math podcast, okay? I'm with you now. <laughs> uh, clip, okay. it. clip it, <laughs> clip it, clip it. Um, all right, so a little over a year. Um, okay, I just want to get uh, I want to get that straight. Continue. Ignore yeah, me. Yeah, so uh... he's, he's flustered. He's so flustered. <laughs> So I just had a couple buddies come and come and ask me to play, and uh, it took me to a like a local park that had courts. And then, um, you know, six months later, I played in my first pro tournament. It was an APP in St. Louis, did decently, and I was like, why don't I take a legitimate stab at this? And then after that, um, really at the beginning of this year, I kind of took off. I had some really good APP results, and that kind of led to me being being drafted in the position that I was. Um, so it's just kind of been like a, a steady progression. I've just been working on developing my game in that time period. 
Yeah, so you were in Milwaukee working your your job. Um, shout out to Milwaukee. Actually, it's it's crazy crazy that we didn't uh, cross paths, but my wife and I had already moved here to Austin. Um, but uh, you got drafted and pretty much immediately quit your job, right? Yeah, yeah. It was basically like the same week that I got drafted is when I quit my job. I was like, I'm going all in. This is a great opportunity. Um, I can see myself making a living doing this. So that was really the, the moment that I took that leap. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a good uh, decision, obviously paying off and being down in, in South Florida, uh, definitely helps the game, you know, love, love Milwaukee, but it's tough to get great competition there year round. Um, so Austin and South Florida, uh, better, more, more, uh, better for being a professional pickleball player. That's for sure. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Tyler had fun, yeah.